So we are back with another NFO Cyphers episode. We are on our episode 10, and we've got Michael. Yeah. That's a beautiful name. Does it mean anything? Did you make it up? Nah, it's, it's my birth, my middle name. Okay. Yeah, so my parents, my yeah. parents gave it to me. I like that a lot. Appreciate um, it. Like I said, this was probably going to be one of my favorite interviews that I prepared for. Um, so when I do my interviews and I do my research, the first platform that I go to is Instagram. Okay. I went to your Instagram and I was like, four posts, okay. Can't yeah. really work with that. So then um, I went to Apple Music, because I'm an Apple Music girly. Yeah. And then there were a couple songs on there, a few songs, and I was like, okay, let me dig a little bit deeper. So I went to SoundCloud and I was like, okay, now I'm getting some traction, right? Yeah. Um, <laughs> And then I was like, fuck this. And I Googled you. And that's when, like, that was the most that I got from you. Yeah. Um, so I was, like, really excited about that. <laughs> um, yeah. I just recently restarted my uh, my Instagram. So funny story is when I was talking to Chance about it or whatever, he was like, yeah, he's got all these this type of posts on his stuff or whatever. Yeah. And I'm, like, looking through your page. And I'm like, are you sure we're on the same page? Yeah. <laughs> Mark but, Zuckerberg got me up out of there. Yeah, it happens. Yeah. <laughs> um, but as I was doing my research, I stumbled upon Passport Package. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to see, like, uh, what was your favorite stop in that and, like, just the traveling that went into all of that. And I just want to know a little bit more. Yeah, for sure. Uh, man, Passport Package was, like, a minute ago. I damn yeah. near forgot. <laughs> it was very experimental, but I think around that time, maybe after... I went to Egypt. I, I just enjoy traveling. I've like been all over. Yeah. And it's, you know, definitely like a hobby of yeah. mine. Awesome. You know? Yeah, of course. Something I, I really enjoy. So. so then that brings me into Never or Now. Yep. Um, was that like, that was after, obviously, but what went into that? Because I read a um, an article about you. Yeah. I want to say Southside Weekly. Weekly, Southside yes. Weekly. Yeah. Um, great article, by the way. Yeah, shout um, out Naira. And I like how they called Never Now like the nucleus of your album. Yep. Um, so I wanted to just go into a little bit of that. Yeah, Never or Now. I spent I spent a month out in LA because I was deciding whether I wanted to like move out there. Yeah. And. Uh, yeah, I had just started like using Ableton, made some drums, pulled up on my homie Godchild, mm -hmm. and we made that song, uh, the beat in the studio. And like while he was still editing it, editing like the song, because he added like the chords and everything on yeah. there, um, I just had like a voice memo going and like came up with the song. And it's crazy because it was like effortless. It was my last day there. And I feel like I had been chasing a sound for a minute. Like you speak of Passport Package, like that was pretty experimental. But the reason it only exists on SoundCloud is because I don't sound that way anymore. Okay. But I know it's people who genuinely love the music that yeah, was like on there. I fucks with it. So I like let, you know, them keep it. But anything that I posted on like uh, Apple Music or like Spotify is like, all right, I feel like five, 10 years from now, it's going to like represent who I am. Yeah. And so Never or Now was like the first song that i was like all right i yeah. found like my balance i so. think like um when i was just why i was excited for this interview is because i feel like when i was doing my research it kind of like took me on the journey of you as like an artist because then after um never now from the article that i had read it said that you kind of like wiped all your music and you kind of wanted to just like start over and start from never now and go up yeah. So I think that brings me to 44 Fours. Yeah. And I think that song is like the best representation of you doing that. I appreciate it. And that. I heavily fucks with 44 Fours. Thank you. Fours. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't the first person to do it, but um, it was just something I wanted to do. Uh, growing up, I was definitely a big Jay Z fan. Yeah. Um, hella other artists that inspired me, but. Um, really started rocking with Reasonable Doubt maybe like in high school. Okay. And he has a song called 22 Twos. Yeah. And uh, yeah, he had another song called 44 Fours that wasn't like released. It's like some like mixtape shit or like, okay. you know, you just got to find it. Yeah, like I didn't you, know that. Yeah, if you know about it, you know about it. I've only ever heard it on like YouTube. Okay. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to like 
do it. And so I did it. My I boy like Nico produced the beat. It's like all an original sample. We wanted to make it sound like we were like sampling some shit. Mm -hmm. But like everything is from scratch. I love that. And like threw some like saturation on it and made it sound like yeah. older. And I yeah. like the visuals too. Thank you. Yeah, it was shot in Milwaukee. So I'm from Milwaukee. Yeah. So wanted to, you know, go back home and, and shoot something. Cool. Yeah. I, I love it. I loved it. Appreciate it. Um, and then my little one-off question for you is, what's the best compliment you've ever received? I've ever received? It's funny, because like, I get probably like compliments. I think it's different for like women. Like y'all get compliments like all the time. <laughs> so when I get compliments, it like really sticks with me. Um, and it's something small. Like recently I was in a, a coffee shop and like, I like walked by and somebody like, I had my headphones in and it was like this lady sitting down and she was like, said something. I was like, wait, what'd you say? She was like, oh, I'm not trying to be weird, but you smell really good. <laughs> and I was like, damn, thank you. You know, you just made my day, man. Hell yeah. Damn near the whole year. So yeah, that's going to carry me. Yeah. Shout out, shout out that lady and how yeah, at the women. Compliment your men around you man. in a non-creepy way. It's okay. <laughs> All right, well, let the people know where we can find you at. Looking right here. <laughs> you can find me at Made by Mike Well. That's my new Instagram. M A D E B Y Mike Well. M Y Q U A L E. I appreciate it.